Today is what's today? Thursday, February fourth. It's about a week and I, I would say a week and a half or at least a week since I last recorded my uh, other exercise video where I was trying to improve my uh, leg mobility. So today um, I felt like, you know, let me just record another set of uh, of one of my uh, of the, pretty much the same exercise just to see where I'm at um, um, with my leg side that I've been having problem with so I'm gonna do some minor movement that I was having issues with which I record similar uh, I guess the same way I'm uh, I positioned the chairs I did a similar exercise um, I had problem with uh, dorsiflexion and I think it was yeah is it eversion inversion is good eversion is no good Plantar is okay and Dorsey wasn't that good. So now I want to just Record it. Let me move. I think if I put the camera the other way so Reposition the camera um, The way it was last time was much better. So I'm gonna do a couple exercise um, And then I'm just gonna put it online so this is the thing that I had, I put between my toes because I wasn't feeling my toes that well. So far it's okay. Um, my leg is not perfect, like my right one. Um, when I walk, I still have that same issue, um, bringing my, um, my foot up. Um, so now I'm, it's much better than last time, okay? There's the plantar. I feel a really long stretch between the joints, which is what I want. I want the feeling of it. And there's the dorsi, plantar. When I do the plantar, now, unlike last time, I'm feeling a long stretch. Uh, I guess the vein um, that runs through that area, I'm feeling. And there's where I'm having problem. It's still not that great, but it's much better than last time. Inversion, that's bringing the toes inward. Eversion, you see, eversion is still a problem. So because of that, let me put this. For some reason, ever since, uh, still, um, I'm feeling a little static. It's not hurting, just a little static on my leg. So whatever is causing this, I don't know. And I know this uh, sciatic problem, um, based on things that I've read, it's going to be with me for the rest of my life. So I have to find a way not to make it worse. So it's like every day I have to try to do some movement to at least alleviate that kind of problem. I have a friend of mine, um, she said she has that problem since she was 18 or 19, and uh, she's still having some problem. I know she's uh, done a couple, I guess, exercises, but I don't know how often she does it. And she usually gives me massage, um, so she says she massage her legs every day and things like that. Unlike her, I'm not really good with massage, but uh, I prefer doing exercise because exercise tends to, it's 
almost like mimicking your everyday movement so I want to be able to have I'm not getting any younger so I want to be able to at least be able to move from point A to point B see the uh, what is it inversion I still can't do it that great inversion is good okay the dorsi for uh, flexion which was my major problem is getting better but it's not that great see I still have problem with the mind and muscle connection plantar is good inversion you see my toes is moving you could see the the black the wooden thing is moving but the leg is not, the foot is not moving outward, it's not turning. All right, let's try. Actually, you know, let me leave this. I'm gonna do both legs together, same thing plantar, inversion. Okay, see that's when the legs move in, inversion. See my this move, my right leg move further away. And there's the dorsi. See, the right leg move further in. But I, must, I really feel like the left is actually getting much better. Inversion, eversion, dorsi. So let me do a couple more with my left. This, when I do the plantar, like that feels really good I feel that stretch on that ankle before um, like last week when I was doing them I didn't feel that stretch right now which means that I'm starting to feel a sensation around that area that was kind of numb there's the dorsi plantar dorsi plantar dorsi Inversion, inversion, still not that great. So that's that. I only wanted to do this because I uh, did one video on that position. Um, then I'm going to put the mat on the floor to do all the other exercises that, that I did. And then afterward, I'm thinking of doing, I bring the 15 pound. I... Uh, I haven't lift anything because I'm I don't want to really mess up my back but since I'm starting to feel a bit better I'm only gonna use the 15 pound if later on I decide to do some then uh, some lateral or what is see now I'm forgetting the terms of those exercises some back exercise I'll use the two pound I think it's two yeah two pound to do that but um, I might do some chest um, usually I use the 35 I'm not even gonna get to I'm not even gonna bother lifting the 35 but I'm just gonna use the 15 and I'm gonna try one hand at a time just in case and then if I feel like I could do both at the same time then I'll lift both of them I really don't want to mess up my back because on Monday I plan on going to the gym for the first time so I want to start uh, getting my body back into uh, lifting again so I'm starting very light but for now I'm gonna be doing some stretches before I go on the floor I'm just gonna stretch these first so last time when I did it I had to record it a couple of times pretty much one leg is gonna be in front the other leg is gonna be behind and the main thing is to have my uh, heel of that left foot planted on the floor while I'm pushing against the wall so hopefully I don't have to record this twice and there it goes. See, once you do that, you feel all the stretch all the way from your heel to your hamstring area. And this is the left leg. That's the leg that uh, has the problem, the sciatic pain. So I bring it up and bring it back down. The more you push on the wall while the back foot is 
planted on the floor, you really feel no stretch. Then once you let go, you're gonna do more on that side than the right because it's the leg problem. It feels really good. Okay. So I'm gonna switch. This leg is my see right after I finish it, I feel my leg is like shaking. It's like I shot the muscle for some reason. You didn't expect that. Okay. Back foot, feet flat. My foot is flat on the ground and I push against the wall. I'm gonna do one more on the left. It's really shaking for some reason. <laughs> every now and then and at night I have to put a pillow between my leg to add somewhat lift it a little bit um, but besides that it's really nothing compared to when I had the nerve problem when it was really really bad so there's no reason for me to keep on taking medication that doesn't work Actually, when I look at my leg, I think I mentioned in my last video, I could see my quad. My right one is bigger than the left. So this is why, so when I, actually, when I go to the gym on Monday, I'm gonna do full body. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of my video. I'm gonna do full body, and I'm gonna start each time I go to the gym, the same exercises that, um, stretches and uh, stability movement that I'm gonna I'm doing here and then I'm gonna do uh, like I said full body I'm gonna do some weight I may not go as heavy as I used to prior to this incident so I could build my um, strength back a little bit but I need to do full body every other day so Monday I'm gonna go to the gym Tuesday I'm gonna skip it and I have a doctor appointment anyway and then Wednesday, I'm going to go and do another full body. Thursday, I'm going to skip. And then Friday, I'll go again. Either Saturday or Sunday, I'll determine if I'll go or I'll just probably just stay home. But otherwise, uh, that's the plan for now. So I'm going to go on the floor and do some other exercises. And then I'm going to do some uh, chest and shoulder. That child pose exercise stretch so i'm gonna do the stretch as far as i can 
until I feel the pain a little bit more. Okay, right now I'm feeling my hip. of these definitely much better than last time okay, when I do this I feel like I could feel my lower back I didn't really used to do this often. Yoga is not my thing, but this part of yoga, I may not even doing it correctly. But I do feel it. Okay, two more. better than last time. I'm not doing them in the same order that I did it last time, but since I'm in that position, oh, I feel it all the way to my toes, my big toes. managing it it's been between 128 and 130 it hasn't gone to 126 yet since I have noticed it it's been going down but I've been managing it not to go below 128 Today, I think I'm gonna 
release one of the cooking videos. So now, ah, I'm gonna do which one should I do first? Um, yeah, maybe I'll do a bit of that tilt. My core, take a deep breath, core tight, and then bring my pelvic in. Again, I'm just recording only one set. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that stretch again. Let me see how far I could bring it. Last time was a major problem. Usually the first time stretching it is gonna feel weird. Then when I do it a couple times later, see like the, I can't really bring it up. So after a couple stretch, I should be able to bring it further. Okay. okay. All here and here too. That's not where I want it to be. So that's two. Let's see how far it will go on the third try. So right here is really tight. push something so that's why I, I want to go I'm gonna start on Monday to do full body and I'm gonna start with the leg first okay see this is the fourth time it's definitely getting better see, now it's straight slightly straight before I can do that Definitely much better. I feel a little, uh, it's like a weird kind of pain, but not too painful. It's like I'm feeling all the veins on that leg. I could look, I could feel where all of them are when I do that. The back and there's some that runs over here. I guess the, I don't know all the names. But the sciatic part I know is the major one. Start from the back, lower back, and spread out to the leg. And then there's probably smaller veins that branches out. So I could feel all of them on the side. The major one, the sciatic part, I feel it. Definitely feel it. Okay, you see it? I'm not making this up. Definitely feel much better it's getting it's not fully straight, but it's much better than definitely from last week. Last week, I, when I look at the video, I think I was like somewhat like this. I couldn't bring it like right, like that. It was somewhat like this, and it was so stiff and a little bit painful. So that's how far I was able to do it last week, and this week, there it is. Okay, even though I bring it straight, I feel a little pain. It's not like I'm all hunky-dory feeling good doing that. I feel a bit pain, but I'm able to bring it further. There it is. 
much better. Oh, here I feel the pain. A little bit here. Definitely. And the right, it's not really a problem. See? There it is. There. See? No problem at all. bring it further back. There it is straight and slightly back toward my chest. Let's do one more time with this one. It needs to be somewhere right here. I think the gym that I go to has uh, something similar to that. Like a belt thing to do that. But I'll bring this just in case because uh, it's a new gem, I'm not sure where they put all of their stuff. So I'll bring this with me just in case I can find where they put it. There it is. I think it's slightly straight. And let me try to bring it further back. Ooh. Let me put that like straight. Uh, I don't know if you could say it, it's trembling. Because its range of motion was so limited. You see it's fighting me and saying, no, 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 danger, danger, don't bring it back. But it needs to go a little bit further. Okay? Before I wasn't able to do that, I'll be in major pain. Since there's not really major pain, I'm gonna try to bring it further back. <sighs> wow, you should see how trembling my leg is doing right now. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. There it is. There it is, straight. And now I'm gonna bring it further back. Again, it's. I feel the stretch. That, that's not the problem. It's an uncomfortable stretch. It's like the thing wants to stay in one position, like really stiff. And I'm fighting and saying, you need to go further back. And it's saying, no, I can't. Ah. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just uncomfortable. It's not painful, but uncomfortable. Because of that, I'm gonna do it one more time. Let me take a breather. Okay. The minute I lift it, I feel, okay, let me start slow here straight from back here right bring it straight bring it straight bring it straight bring it straight uh, definitely different i'm feeling it a little bit on my hip it's not a pain but it's a stretch kind of feeling uh, oh my god I'm gonna do it one more time because it's going further back. I feel like it's working. Okay, and then that's it after that one, and then I'll do the next set without recording. First, let me try it straight back here. It seems to work much better. Uh, 
Ah, okay. That's it. Ah, okay. Let me do that tilting part. So I'm gonna try to keep my leg about 90 degrees. And I'm gonna turn it back and forth. One thing you realize when I get to the side, I don't put it down on the floor. Because once I leave it on the floor, my body will be resting. So, slightly off the ground. back to the left one more time I'll do four on that side because it's not really a problem but you just want to do the same thing on both sides okay. I'm gonna do that since I'm bringing this further up I feel it on my lower back Slightly, and of course my glutes, left side glutes. Just two on that side, just to see where it's at. A lot of fingers on my toes. One 
more. of it before. <laughs> Reverse fly with the two pound and then I'll do some bench press and hopefully I can lean back on that bench. Let me move the mat. There it is. I have my timer set. Uh, there it is. 40 seconds. So I'll take 40 seconds or less of rest and three sets of 20 repetitions of reverse fly. So, and it's only two pounds. I have leg issue, the sciatic. I never use heavier weight. I just um, try to limit the amount of rest. So I'm gonna do 20 repetitions and three sets. That's reverse fly. Try to take 20 seconds or less. While I was doing the reverse fly, I was thinking I'll do some shoulder press. Since I'm here, I'll just get the 15 pound and do a couple shoulder presses and then do the chest. I think I'm good. Let me reset the time and then even take all the 40 seconds. So, B. check my back the other day ah, I was it's not like I wanted to cry but I really worked hard to get my back in, in shape when I was doing my last video and I did the comparison about a week ago a couple weeks before the sciatic my back the muscles gone one two three four I feel good. I want to do one more. So, usually I'm not obsessed with my body, even when I was in shape and not in shape. Never obsessed with my body. But um, my back is something I really wanted to look good. So, um, I'm, I'm not really upset that it's gone. I could always bring it back. I just need to do some exercise. So I know I didn't do any exercise for it to go. So that's what I get. All right, I take the full 40 seconds because I felt it. There it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, I need to do the four sets because after the third I was feeling I could do more. So now I feel it. Okay. Take a few seconds, let me pause the camera and then I'm gonna do the shoulder. Okay, I think I took a good five minutes since the reverse fly. So for the shoulder, I'm gonna do, I'm aiming for just three sets. 
I'm going to do three sets. Uh, and then um, three sets between, 10 and, um, between 8 and 10 repetition. If I could do more, I'll do more. And I'm going to do the same thing, taking a 40 second break in between. And this is the first one. Let me sit back. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven. Then 12. Ah, I was able to do 12. Okay, 40 second rest. Usually the first set I don't really need the full 40 second is when I get to the third set or fourth set. Maybe I'll do also some lateral raises, front raise and lateral raises with my other weight. Okay. I have 12 seconds left. One, two. trying to feel it so I said let me do one more one more set Ooh. I haven't done that for almost what two three weeks now so my body's like oh here we go I miss you guys I haven't done that much exercise Ooh. okay 10 seconds I still didn't take the full 40 seconds one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm gonna take full whatever minutes, five, ten minutes until I feel we fully recovered again and then I'll do the chest. I think I took uh, maybe 10 minutes. I put some stuff away, drank some water. So again, I'm aiming for three sets of 10, between 10 and 12 repetitions. If I feel like I could do four sets, I'll just do it. And then I have my timer. I'm going to take 40 second rest in between each set. So, like I said, I'm just using the 15 pound, not the 30. I don't want to go beast mode thinking that I could do more than, um, I mean, more like I used to do before. So, I'll just work my way up again. So, I'm just doing 15 pounds. And by the time I finish, I'm sure I'm going to feel it because I'm going to take short rest. So the problem is, is leaning back. That's where my problem is. And hopefully, ah, not bad. All right, so here we go. Between 10 and 12 repetitions. One. Ah. 
Okay, about 40 seconds rest. So one thing I try to do, sometimes when I'm doing the presses, sometimes I try to bring my, when I'm, when the dumbbell is against my chest, I try to uh, bring it in a little bit, and then when I push it out, I sort of push it up like that. And the other time I do pronated and supinated rip with it. So, okay, I have seven seconds left. This is like this. I try to bring it in like that and then push it. One, two, three. Ten. And I'm gonna do this. The black stop. One, two, three. When you switch like that, you feel it really quick. You go one, and then you whew. Okay, that's two sets. And do the 30 pounds. I feel it already. And while I was doing that, I'm thinking I'll do some fly. Also, chest fly. Whew. I don't know if I could do it with the third 15. That was three sets. I think I'm gonna take the full 40 seconds. Uh, eight, seven, six, two, three, four, five, six, switch. One, two, four. Five, six, I do one more like this. One, two, and then switch again. Ah. Oof. Ah. That was four sets. Okay, I'm gonna take full recover. Maybe 10 minutes. Now, this is another. Uh, I don't know how long I took, but. I took a good dress. Um, I am going to do some flies and maybe again, I think this time I'm going to do three sets between 10 and 12. I have a bad habit when I usually whatever repetitions that I do on the first set, I try to do it the same uh, throughout the rest of the the rest of the sets so <clears throat> I'm gonna do flies uh, the way that I'm gonna do is when I lay back I'm gonna take the weight the 15 pound then I'm gonna rotate my arm when I go down and then bring it up like this so it's like this and then like that let me, that's the flies. Ah. I was surprised that I was able to go back. I think the 15 a bit too heavy, but let's do it. This is my starting position. 
down and then up. because the next two sets I don't think I could do it with uh, my hands trembling because I haven't done that in a while so recovery and then I'll come back. Um, I just put the bench away and I'm gonna do the raises. One thing I realized when I was bending down to pick up the 15 pound to put it away and I realized that I was able to squat down to pick it up. So I decided to add one more to the exercise. It wasn't planned because I was afraid of my back. So I'm gonna do a couple squats after I do the raises. This is five pounds. Those weights are five pounds. So I'm gonna wrap these around my arm. So I'll do these instead. I don't wanna do the 15. I feel like I could do it, but because I haven't exercised in a while, I just don't want to overdo it. Sometimes your body tends to think it could do something when in fact it can't. So these, so I'm going to do a couple raises. Uh, maybe I'll add this to it because this still feel light. So one arm will be, one set will be with this because I think this is probably three pounds. This might be four. So, so I'm gonna do four sets. The purple one is gonna be on this hand, the first two sets. The green is gonna be on the left side, the first two sets. And the last two sets, I'm just gonna switch it to even it out to do the arm. And then I'm still gonna take 40 second break in between sets so I could feel it better. So I don't know if I'm if you guys could see my face. All right, here we go. This is the first set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I feel it. So that did work. 40 second break. Let's see if I can type this more.
doesn't show but if it doesn't I don't know in my life if I'm gonna record it again so I'm gonna recover again and then I'll do the squat I don't know how long I took but I didn't take that long so this one I'm gonna be very careful with it I'm gonna use the 15 now so do minor squat and I'm just going to do three sets of maybe 10. I'm just going to ease my way into it. So. Okay. Even though I'll be afraid to do that. I didn't really go too far down. I really, this is something I have to be very careful because I'm not 100%. So I went slightly down and I'm using a weight so I could have done it without the weight though. But this is why I stay away from the gym because once I'm in the gym, I think that I could do more and I do crazy stuff and then I get home and I'm all messed up. But anyway, that doesn't mean this is why I have the leg problem. So I could have gone further down without the weight or, oh, my time is up. to go like this trying to keep the weight on my heel but I feel like as I'm down I'm adjusting myself to for some reason I don't know why so yeah I'm just gonna do three sets so I'll ease my way back into the squatting again so I don't really want to mess up my back so something it feels okay but uh, I guess I'm too worrying about my back that I'm afraid of not messing up and then I might just mess up. <sighs> Quad time. This is the last one. first two ones but I'm just gonna stick with the three sets only so now I did what I wanted to I did what I added so I'm gonna try to do two more two more exercises on the door I'm gonna try to do at least let me see if I could do some pull-ups and some reverse fly with the resistant band. So let me pause. I did actually when I took the break. I went to fix myself something to eat. So when, once I'm done, my food is ready. So my food is warming up in the microwave. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do about three sets of reverse fly here with the resistant band. And I have my timer here. I'm gonna take 40 second break. So between 
10 and 12. That's my foot, and I'm giving myself a 40 second break. This is what I will have chicken, vegetables, and rice. So I fixed that while I was taking a break. Okay. Okay, 20. I want to do the scrape. I'm starting to get hungry. This is why I was losing weight before. I wasn't doing any exercise. Oh. Wow. 11, 12. So I didn't use all the 40 seconds. So one more set. So that's why I was losing so much weight before. I wasn't doing any exercise. I was in bed, so my body wasn't used to it. So it's like, didn't need any food. So I just did a couple exercises here. I'm hungry. So the last minute I'm getting my metabolism is getting back into its regular schedule. Okay, 15 seconds left, and this is my last set. One, two, three, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! That's it. Let me warm. Put some more minutes into it. I want it. I like my food to be hot. So now I'm this one. If I don't do it, it's okay. I'm not even gonna put the timer. Um, I'm gonna try to do a couple pull-ups. I don't. You know, I used to do couple pull-ups, but right now I'm just getting back into it. So I don't know how my hip, my uh, back is gonna feel. We bought, my husband bought this, so let's see where I'm at right now. This is the last thing here, and uh, I didn't even do three full sets of everything, and I'm hungry, so I might do the rest later on in the afternoon. All right. I'm not gonna fight it. I, I feel a little bit my back. So I'm glad to know that I still have the strength, but I feel a little bit uh, pinching on my lower back, so I'm just gonna stop right now. I think I did enough for today. So now I'm gonna eat. I'm hungry. So, thank you for watching. This is my food. This is my post-workout uh, vegetables, mixed vegetables. Actually, when I when I did this, I recorded, so I might put that um, on my on my channel. I don't know when. And this is some rice and chicken. And this one I also recorded how I season it and three different ways you could cook it. So I'll see when I have time. I'll edit everything all the videos and then post that so thanks for watching subscribe like and share uh, let me eat now